Hi, my name is Christy, and this is a proposed policy brief which will discuss the impact of mental health, particularly as it relates to adolescents between grades 10 and 12. Approximately half of all mental health conditions will have begun by the age of 14, but a vast majority of these go undetected and are subsequently left untreated. Uh, mental health is a lot more than the absence of a mental illness. It's a multifaceted state of being in which social, emotional, and self-esteem needs are being adequately met. Um, approximately 10 to 20 percent of adolescents have some sort of mental health condition and this can manifest in a variety of ways, some of which include um, anxiety, eating disorders, psychosis, behavioral conduct disorders, um, trauma related to physical or sexual abuse, depression, and suicide. For individuals aged 15 to 19, suicide remains the third leading cause of death. Um, I propose that integration of a standardized mental health curriculum which teaches mental health in the school setting will work to mediate some of the frequently seen social inequalities. Um, school can work as a neutral ground for education, support, and ultimately promotion of a conversation that is often completely misguided or absent altogether. I propose that a structured mental health curriculum will serve to not only empower individuals to become more active members of their own mental health, but it will enable them to support their peers. Adolescents reportedly turn to their friends um, instead of a responsible adult in times of uh, mental concern or during periods of suicidal ideation. So for this reason, it's really important to promote um, the development of healthy adults who are bold enough to recognize the importance that mental health can and will play into their ultimate wellness. Um, studies have shown statistically significant increases um, in the institution of standardized mental health curriculum. Students were reportedly more knowledgeable about various mental health conditions and they were less likely to blame things such as personal weakness on uh, mental health disturbances. So early education and intervention is the mainstay method for decreasing stigma, increasing coping mechanisms, and allowing for an open, stimulating conversation surrounding mental health. Thank you.